Today is the third day of the budget debate. The expenditure heads of a number of ministries, including the Ministry of Education, was taken up for debate today. Here are some of the views expressed in the chambers during the debate. Allocate 6% of GDP for education. This was reduced to 1.7 during the Rajpaksa regime. Now the Committee on Public Finance says it is 1.04%. In 2017, it was 1.34%. And in 2018, 1.27%. Funding for education is being cut under the Maitri Ranil era, even more than the Rajpaksa era. Minister Mangala Samarvira said that they will provide scholarships for A-level students. He promised to provide these scholarships for 14 students. That's all good, but this is similar to reality singing competitions. There are close to hundreds of thousands of competitors, but at the end of the day, only one person wins the competition. This will be carried around all year. He has transferred minor labourers from Kuliapitya to Mana and Vaunia. All four minor labourers at Madhukanda Central College were appointed from Kuliapitya. This is a shame. Labourers to the Kandy Tamil National Central College were appointed from Kurunagala. This is a shame. They should not cover up these facts by stating other issues in their lives. You managed to get your face into the covers of textbooks, so do not fall to such a low position. You are a person holding a respectable ministerial portfolio. We heard that more than 29 million rupees were spent on printing your face on textbooks. He is making false statements about me. If they can prove that the government has spent even an additional rupee in printing my face on the textbooks along with the message, I will resign from my ministerial portfolio. Do you recall how the General Secretary of the Ceylon Electricity Board Employees Union, Ranjan Jailal, yesterday made a revelation on the interference of politicians in providing government jobs? How do they provide jobs in the Electricity Board? Here it is during the time of Simbla Pitya. We challenge them to file a case against us. File cases of defamation if they can. We will bring these employees to court if they file a defamation case against us. These are not fake promissory notes. People in Siambalandua, Ampara had given 500,000 rupees in return for the employment opportunities. We are not claiming that anyone accepted money to recruit employees at the Ministry of Education. But unethical practices are followed in both of these instances. Leaders of trade unions in the education sector. If you are in possession of any information of such incidents, please reveal it to the general public.